Hey, it is, uh, it's great to see everyone here. Thank you for being here. I uh, want to begin by just saying a thank you to all of the student athletes. Uh, we know that whenever there's a, a coaching change or transition, uh, it's a real impact on them. Uh, they had a remarkable season, obviously a bowl game to go, uh, but a 10 and two season, uh, and we couldn't be more proud of them and grateful to them. And of course, all the alumni and, and friends and, um, also, obviously, want to want to thank Coach Riley for his service, uh, and Caitlin and and the girls. Uh, we're here today uh, to talk about where we are going. Obviously, um, we know where we are today, uh, which is in a coaching transition. Uh, yesterday, uh, 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 Joe Castiglione and myself were in conversations uh, about uh, that have been going on for a, a couple of weeks about extending the contract, making sure we had uh, all the resources we need to be successful in the Big 12, and of course in the SEC. Um, and then by yesterday afternoon, uh, uh, we uh, uh, really found out about, just before you all did, that uh, Coach Riley had made the decision uh, to go to USC. We had a long conversation uh, about that. And uh, as he's indicated in his statement, he spoke uh, about it being a personal decision, uh, not about whether or not uh, um, we would uh, meet the contract needs or the resource needs for uh, for this conference and the next, uh, but a personal decision uh, that he wanted to make for he and his family. Uh, the uh, conversation that followed next, as you might imagine, was a conversation with Joe Castiglione, just the two of us, and we talked about, um, all right, uh, what's the next step and how do we do this? And when we talk about uh, character um, and, and comfort, to me, being with Joe Castiglione, uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again, he's the best athletic director in the country, and when you engage in a transition and a coach, at the University of Oklahoma, that's exactly what you deserve, and it's exactly what we have. And as we talked about the idea of an interim. Uh, how do we handle this uh, over the next uh, days and weeks? And we talked about, we wonder if Bob Stoops would be up for, uh, up for doing that. And to me, the conversation reminded me uh, when we had it a lot like the conversation that I had with Bob when I was dean of the law school and he was head coach back in 2017. Uh, before he made the official announcement that he was not going to continue as the head coach uh, for OU, uh, Bob and I have been friends for a long time. He came to me and uh, talked about the idea of stepping down as head coach. And to me, as a friend in that conversation, it didn't make a whole lot of sense. When you looked at it, uh, the team, uh, we were stocked and loaded and ready to go. Uh, he had a great path ahead of him. He had done a remarkable job with the program. And when I asked him why he was even considering doing it, his answer was, it's what's best for the program. And I said, why wouldn't you take one more year? Like, this is a chance to go all the way. Why wouldn't you do that? And, and person to person, friend to friend, he looked at me in a way that very, I've rarely seen in terms of raw character. And he said, because it's what's best for the program, right? If, if you really love the program, you do what's best for it. And what's best for right now is for me to go ahead and step aside uh, whenever our program is where it needs to be. And he did that in a way that was incredibly thoughtful. Flash forward to yesterday. Joe and I uh, chat for a few minutes, uh, surprised uh, by the decision that had been made. Um, and um, we call Bob. And he can give you details. He was hard at work and he'll describe that in a second when we called him. But we reached out to Bob and we began the preamble speakerphone conversation with Joe and I on one end and Bob on the other, we began the conversation and began walking into the idea of would you take over as interim coach, interim head coach. And before we could complete the question, his exact answer, and you can hear it from his lips, was, uh, of course I will. Right? Of course I will. Anything I can do, I'll do. That was his immediate answer. And so as we stand here and we look forward to the next chapter for the University of Oklahoma football program, uh, we do it with a remarkable team, uh, both on the field, uh, that one going into the bowl game uh, that's upcoming, um, and also with a great team here as we lean forward. Uh, we have individuals that are of remarkable character that are incredibly seasoned, uh, and we are unified and we are resolute, and we each have um, multiple decades of service to the university. We love this place, uh, and we are uh, committed to finding and certainly will find one of the absolute best jobs in the country uh, the next person to add to the Sooner legacy, right? It's a place with an incredibly deep legacy. Everybody here walked past the statues on their way here. And the great place about OU is we don't just create, we don't just have legacies, we create legacies. Is there any part of the process 
from, from Lincoln's end that you would have preferred that he handled differently? Conversation with you guys or keeping you in the loop or dealing with players or? And Joe says it's time for me to speak. Um, I'm over my quota. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been proportionate to the expertise. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously you wish these events wouldn't happen. And the way that we would like for them to play out, don't play in the individual's thinking. He made a personal decision um, and he had to approach it. Were we disappointed? Absolutely. Um, and that disappointment lasts until you realize you've now got to move forward. And, uh, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, would have liked more notice. We were surprised by it yesterday, um, but uh, that was his decision. And uh, you can only impact those things that you can control. And once we had that, um, that information, uh, you know, he, he left. Joe and I looked at each other and said, well, that was a surprise. Now let's, let's you know, let's get to work. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.